hello everyone it's me asmr welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorials and today i'll show you this type of matte type modern color grading photo editing so what was the previous image let's see this one was the previous image and i got this image from the pixiebay.com and if you want to get the download link of this image for your practice purpose please check out my video description and the output is like that so this one is a modern type color grading and you are getting uh, creative and uh, the looky so let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications and those who are already subscribed my channel thanks a lot and don't forget to hit the like button so let's start the tutorial at first i'm just going here my main image so if you want to get the image download link please check out my video description after that i'll drag it and drop over here or ctrl or command j for the new copy of this layer for the backup purpose and then go to the filter camera filter i'll provide you xmp file which is the camera raw preset and check out my video description for that from here here is the load settings options and this preset the name is dark light or modern light and load it up you'll get the basic color correction from here what i have done here let's see here i just done three or four or five things here i didn't change anything temperature tint or other things here shadow i made it plus 38 for the shadow look and here i added some clarity and the texture or dehaze so when you are getting some dehaze options it will be more prominent and uh, clear and the clarity will make the photo more clear so for that i just want to make this one like little bit grainy and little bit modern type retro image effects after that i just going over here sharpening at sh some sharpening that is 44 and the noise reduction from here that is luminance of noise reduction 23 and all the steps are same and split toning here the th most important thing of this image just because of you know split toning is shadow and highlighting which uh, remains with the shadow color and the highlight color here the hue and saturation for the pick up the color which color do you want to give in this photo and saturation percentage of the color that's why i make uh, here i made this one 138 value for the hue and the saturation 10 and the hue of the shadow that is 243 which is give you some little bit brown type color and the saturation 8 that's fine and now hsl panel this hsl panel is a uh, main thing hue saturation luminance you know hue is the color which color you want to pick it up saturation percentage of color and the luminance that intensity of the color hue i made nothing changed and the orange i made it a little bit down for the dark tone and the luminance i made it like up for the highlight so you are getting amazing effects no lens correction issues and no effects i used here i used from the camera calibration or calibration the hue of the red primary that is plus 32 that's why it's looking like a little bit orangish brown and the hue of the blue primary that is minus 50 that's why you're getting some aqua over there and green primary i didn't touch that is the zero value and let's see the before one and after one yeah before one was uh, like shadow highlight that's fine but in this photo you are getting some prominent thing of the model and hit the ok button you are getting the basic color correction is done now i will add the light overlay so go to the file and place embedded options here uh, that is the light optical fair and hit the tick button go to the blending options and make it screen mode you are getting like this and now go to the adjustment layer and go to the levels options adjust the light a little bit that's good and then i'll make the selection make the group of all the layers and giving the name edit and i'll make it i'll make it a screenshot that is like that 
and after that i'll add another like photo filter from the nick collection you know nick collection is a plugins of the photoshop if you want to get the download link please check out my video description go to the filter nick collection color effects pro 4 this one is a bunch of presets and bunch of filters plugins uh, which will help you out to make your photography or editing level in the next so from here i'm using the cross processing and which one is perfect for your photographs you have to pick it up for this image or in this case i am using the l05 the strength that is 33 or 30 that's good for this photo and hit the ok button it will take time to load it up and give you the final output to just save your photo before one was like this that is normal image and that's good and draw type image i do appreciate that's good and but after adding the additional presets and the light overlay and the photo filter from the nick collection you're getting this type of amazing effect a modern type color effects or color grading from the photoshop so i just given you the way to edit it's up to you to add these type of things in your photography editing so thank you so much thanks for watching my video tutorial if you have any kind of question query or request please do comment on my video comment section and if you have any kind of idea or something like that feel free to comment in my if you want to get the download link of the resource file please check out my video description and don't forget to subscribe my channel until the next video i am asmr signing out today bye bye